I like that Fusion was intuitive and easy to navigate. It's very systematic, so you just work your way along the top. Create my design, I can build my model, see what it looks like, and then click a button and start setting the constraints to begin simulating. Industry are telling us that they want students with a broad knowledge of the whole process. Fusion gives students access to that end-to-end -end workflow from concept and design right the way through to manufacture. Fusion seems to have a very holistic approach to the design process, from the initial sketches which you can then turn into components which you can then assemble to see how they work together. Cloud storage actually makes it a lot more convenient, uh, both to work with Fusion, but also for the students in terms of teaching and, and accessing their work. Even the fact of sharing things, so a few projects I'm working on with friends, we can just make changes at home separately, come together and do it, and we've all got access to it at the same time. New tools are coming in, and an engineer's role is, is bound to change. So generative design is, is an example of that, of, of how the profession of, of engineering is, is changing. Today, students and future engineers will have to be able to, to adjust to the new developments. Uh, generative design is, is almost something from the near future, and uh, students being trained at it um, shows them, well, for one, they're trained on what is cutting edge right now, and two, of where uh, the sector is going. What excites me about generative design is the exploration of what is potentially unknown and what could an algorithm come up with that we haven't thought of yet. We give students, educators and academic institutes access to all of our design and make software free of charge. We then provide access to a huge range of online tutorials, content, forums and communities so that students can learn the same tools that industry are using. So I look forward to being a part of that process and journey into the manufacturing of the future.